Hey you guys, it is Matty, and we're back. I'm bringing you an update on our clan war so far. So, as you can see, 84 to 52. It's pretty much going as I would have predicted. Um, huge attacks. Uh, we're starting to really pull away from them now. They've got, I don't think they've got much left in their barrel uh, to come at us. But there's a few bases that haven't been even attacked yet. Or there's a lot of th extra stars that um, we can gain. Um, and me and Sarah's all sort that out. But I've got my two attacks remaining and I've got an army cooked ready so we're going to go into one now. But because of where we're at, I don't need to worry about gaining, like going for easier bases to make sure I get the most amount of stars. Like my recommended target would be, my recommended obviously. So I'm not going to go for that guy, I'm going to go for the uh, number two. Because it's, um, I'm not too worried if we, that we're going to win or lose it. I'm, uh, I know we're going to win the war um, and I'm going to go for a slightly riskier base. So... This is how I attack in Clan Wars. Now, it's important to understand quite a few things, especially when Hog Raiding or whichever. And the first thing you need to know is about their Clan Castle. So, I need to check its radius as to how I can lure it, because it's going to have dragons or it's going to have wizards in there. Or, or pretty much anything that's in that Clan Castle is going to be detrimental to my Hog Raid. Okay? So, it's important to know how you're going to lure it. Now the obvious answer for me is to this a a overlapping area here, if I throw two or three hog riders in, they'll go straight for that cannon, um, which is in the radius, and it will lure out all the clan castle troops. So that's the easy way. And the heroes. Now if we watch the heroes blast rate, the radius of luring, um, we could go in from the that side for the king, and similarly that side for the queen, but if you watch both of those platforms, I think when they when they move, over to our side of the map, both of them, they become lurable from down the bottom here, down to the left by that builder hut, like down here. Um, so if, once they've crossed over their platform, I think they become lurable from there. So there goes the king, look, there he is, and the queenie, and you could get her by dropping a barb or a, something in there now. So that's good to know so I know how I'm gonna get the king and queen and clan castle and that is crucial to the raid so this next thing is where am I gonna lure them to now I wanna take in my hog riders it depends where you wanna take hogs uh, sometimes but in this case I wanna take my hog riders from the top because they're gonna go from that cannon to these def two defences here um, and it, the one group is and the other group will go from, from that arch tower to that defence to the um, to there, to there, um, inwards as well. So luckily, both both groups of hogs, if I deploy them in two different spaces, are going to go towards the middle, which is where I want them. I want them to take out those wizard towers as quick as possible. So I'm going to take my hogs in from the top. I think it's a good place to do it, which means I'm probably going to lure um, the troops to the top, because if I have to use any heroes, then it means I don't have to waste them, they can carry on get, taking the base out. So just checking the range of defences and you can see this gold mine here is the perfect spot. If I drop an archer just above it, no defences are in range to take me out um, while I do so. So that's how I'm going to do this raid. Um, let's check <coughs> back at base what I've got in terms of troops. Um, oh, someone's doing an attack. Oh, Sarah Rizzo's doing an attack. That's interesting. Um, so my army is full. I've got 34 hogs. I've gone for a he slightly heavier hog army this time. Uh, slightly less wizards, barbs and archers. Um, so yeah, 11 of each barb and arch and then 7 wizards with me. They're mainly just going to be to try and take out that clan castle. I've got 4 heal spells as normal. And then in my clan castle I've got 5 level 5 wizards and 5 archers. I've got my heroes as well. So we are... You would always need to double check. So point one, heroes scout the base, understand how you're going to lure, where you're going to lure it, and, and how you're going to operate that raid or, or begin it, etc. And what your main attack is. So scouting is number one. Number two, check all your stuff is ready because n a number of people that have gone into base without their clan castle or without their heroes, etc., etc., etc. You need to go into a war. V ready on every angle because anything can happen if a dragon comes out that clan castle which it's likely to um, and suddenly I'm running low on troops and my, I'd, I'd normally rely on my queen to help and she's not there then that's going to really screw me over but anyway let's go straight into the attack so this is the bit where the uh, your heart starts to race and uh, it gets a bit intense now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait 
for that queen and king, because I've got a good 30 second window. Oh, can I get her there? No. I've already started the raid now, that's kind of annoying. Got the king. I'm going to do the clan castle now. So, there's my three hogs over there. Dragon as expected. Need that arch queen. There she is. Got the arch queen. Got the dra got everything, and it is a level four dragon. So that is something we're going to have to deal with uh, quite sharpish. Oh, my phone's being funny. Uh, decline. We're in battle. So what I'm going to do now is start taking out these uh, the dragon if I can my wizards are shooting it which is good oh, I'm going to need my queen um, which I'm just using now luckily they're go away why does everything happen when I'm trying to raid anyway now we're ready to do the hog rider attack so both all hogs in Okay, so now all the heroes are dead, the hog riders are in, we're able to get ready with our first heal spell. The hogs have all gone into one group, which is kind of bad, um, but at least they're get, going around and getting that job done. I'm going to drop another heal spell in here, because that seems to be where the hogs are going to go to. That giant bomb's going to wreck those that small group of hogs. going to keep on watching what this main group of hogs are doing here. Okay, now it's a poorly placed heal spell, but the main group of hogs are doing pretty well now, and m nearly all of those defences are down, so I'm just going to drop my last heal spell in here to help them out, and um, while that's happening, I've got five wizards left, it looks like we're going to 100% this guy, so I think that's it in terms of defences, yep, so, and uh, if I start sprinkling these wizards now in tactical places around the base, because I'm, I am going to, it's going to be a little bit tight for time, so I'm going to drop my king in here as well, who's going to help out and um, to go towards that town hall, which is where I need him to go. Just looking if there's any other things, buildings I need to clean up, so I've got two wizards left. Uh, but we're starting to look pretty good now. Got, I know it's only 30 seconds, so yeah, I will drop a wizard up here uh, or two to help out. There we go. So I need that. Where's my king? Okay, we'll rage up the king. We're running low on time. There we go, 98%, 99%, what's left? 100%, perfect. So, we've managed to, quite nicely, three-star the uh, number two player with our strategy. So, that was Raid 1 done. I'm glad uh, I got to show you live. See how... Uh... <laughs> yeah, so added three stars to our clan war, which is awesome, on a slightly trickier base took out the number two so now what we're going to do is we're going to look at the number one because I want that loot I'm going to try and one star him so what we're going to use is, which I've been practicing lately is Balloonian I'm just going to figure, try and figure out how exactly I'm going to do this and I think looking at the base the best thing to do is a lot of percentage points towards the bottom here um, in terms of the arch, got the arch tower and the uh, which I mean and the um, air defence. I'm going to need to use two groups of balloons, probably eight balloons each um, in that to and raise them up to take them out. I've got the wizard tower to the left and the right, and I've got the um, the last group of arch towers up here. So I'm probably going to be going for the balloonian strategy and I think I pretty much know how I'm going to deploy it as well so we'll uh, build that up now and uh, take it there so anyway thanks for watching this first part of the episode guys um, let's join ourselves for the next second bit of the uh, war and and the results so um, I'll prepare my attack now and I'll see you in a bit what is up you guys it is Maddie. anyway um, getting straight back in we are going in for the second attack in clan wars uh, I've got 20 uh, loons, 60 uh, miniones, and a clan castle full of level 6 balloons as well. Um, along with 3 rage and a lightning in the uh, clan castle. So, uh, what we're doing... Now, normally I wouldn't condone this. Um, 
going to attack. Um, but because we've got such a huge lead, 90 to 55, that's a 35 gap. Um, oh, they're never going to catch us now. And there's only a couple of hours left, and uh, it's a. There we go. Anyway, sorry. Sorry about that. Whit! There we go. Um, so, yeah, I know he's got a dragon in his clan castle because I watched Aziz's replay because he's already tried this guy. So, my strategy is going to be getting for the, going for the one star, the 50%, because it's going to be too difficult to three star anyway. Um, and my view is if I can take out the top buildings and take out these bottom buildings, that's going to mean we're going to be cooking on gears. So, 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 so. I think I'm ready to go for it. And we shall see. It's going to be a practice on the Balloonian, so uh, let's go. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is clear a pathway down the bottom. This is also going to hopefully lure the King, Queen, etc., etc. So I'm going to do six balloons. One, two, three, four, five, six. There. With a rage, taking them in to those defences. I need them to hurry the hell up. They've gone the wrong way. Brilliant. Okay. Bit of a... Oh no! That's a disaster! Oh, for fuck's sake, I just dropped all my rages. <laughs> That's awful. Okay. So, what we need to do now, oh my god, is send the rest of the bloody loons in to clear out the buildings down here. Oh, I can't believe I dropped all those rage spells. And they're going they're not even going for the Yeah, complete fail guys. Complete fail. Okay. So now I need to get the queen down here to take her out. Good guys. There go the minions taking her out. Okay, now what we're gonna do is try and pick off these free buildings to try and up our percentage because that's what's going to be the plan but it looks like we've had to slightly amend the plan because <laughs> we've uh, completely fucked up on our rage bells literally meant to drop some balloons what we can do though which might be useful is take out that arch tower in a bit uh, but anyway I'm going to keep pump pumping in some bl uh, some f minions where there's free buildings um, Okay, so let's see where we're at. We're at 28%. Okay. Can take out that lab as well. Maybe even that barracks if the minions are quick enough. No, here comes a bomb. Dropping another few minions there. The minions are taking down some good things at the top. So it looks like we might be able to salvage this raid. I'm going to drop another little batch of uh, minions in down here as well. Hopefully they can take out the barracks. Another three. Another two would have probably done that. Okay. So we're taking these three percentage points. Just working out now where the, the last percentages are. We've got to be wary of the clan castle. So what I'm going to do is drop in my clan castle troops up here. We're running really low on time now. So I've got to start speeding up. Um, what I'm going to do is drop in my king and queen up here. They're going to get me some extra buildings. Oh, they weren't able to take down that thing. Okay. Hopefully the queen's not going to get distracted just yet. Oh, misplaced lightning spell. And I've run out of time. Didn't even notice the time. Oh. Literally a fail. Oh. Rage fail. Okay, so that tells me I need to learn to speed up my attacks, get to the CC quicker. Uh, Cause they, oh god. Anyway, guys, <laughs> I'll uh, I, I'll cut this video now, and we'll take it to the last moment of the clan wars, uh, just to see how we end up going. Anyway, I'm pretty gutted that that happened, but these things do happen, I'm afraid. But uh, yeah, over and out for the for now. 
Bum bum ba dum bum bum. Here we are at the end of the war. <laughs> are they doing a last minute attack on us? Oh no, Ethan's doing a last minute attack. Really? 45 seconds to go. Sarah's all sucked. <laughs> yeah, to be fair. Um, she did a fail as well as me. And, uh, well, did Ethan even get a star? Oh, he's just going for a bit of extra loot bonus by the look of it. But yeah, here we are, guys. It is a um, wrap-up video of the fourth clan war. As you can see, it's pretty much bang on how I predicted it, to be honest. But uh, yeah, it was a, a bit of a whitewash. I could have got more stars, but I went for the big dog and uh, obviously completely failed with my rage spell placement. So my loot bonus is only going to be 320k of each and a 1100 dark, which isn't great. But I suppose every little bit helps, so... War ended. There we go. War 4. 80% total destruction. Obviously we had more attacks than them. And we won more battles as well, so... Yeah, it was a, a nice war in the end. Um, quite an easy one. I'll collect my war loot bonus. There we go. Uh, thank you for giving me all that monies, and yeah, it was a good war, nice and easy win. Um, obviously the clan are happy, because uh, that's our fourth win again, um, so always good! Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and obviously we'll speak to you next on the next clan war. Um, in between then I'm going to have other videos coming up. Um, so keep your eye out and keep subscribed if you haven't subscribed to my channel do that now and ask yourself the question why haven't I subscribed before now because that's a serious event but uh, yeah guys see you later